There's this antique looking piece on the other side, this half wall over here. Let's go see what's up. All right, these actually blended in kind of camouflage style. As we can see here, two beautiful nightstands. Uh, solid wood, sorry, it's a little dark. They're just kind of blending in a little bit two drawer, uh, pull out nice handles, each one of them. All right, there looks to be an electric lawnmower, not right there, but back behind me, but there's quite a few people around. So what we're gonna do is we will either come back to this complex. I don't think anyone's gonna be taking a lawnmower anytime soon. And the reason why I want the electric lawnmower is that, uh, number one, electric, awesome. Uh, uh, but, oh, I'm sorry, not electric. Um, I mean, I totally take it, but what I'm thinking about is electric, yes, but I think it's battery powered, which is even better. So. I don't think that's gonna be removed from the complex anytime soon, nothing there. Let's go ahead and turn around, finish this complex. We'll drive by one more time. Hopefully the four people, two on each side of the set of the cans, so you're blocked uh, at each level. So if it's a battery powered one, that's uh, that's big money. Okay, there's uh yeah, those ladies are still up there. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to find a parking spot then and just go in for a look, regardless if they're there or not. All right, Uncle Phil is on the prowl for that action. We got an airy carpet rug here, a Ikea mattress, and another airy carpet rug. I love my electric car, but I do wish it had a longer range so that I could get over to Uncle Phil's house, strap those patio furniture inside of his car, and we could be on our way. Some sort of corner unit, wood, cherry wood for a matter of fact, uh, drawers to it as well. But I was able to get the bubble wrap, baby. All right, they might be dumping. Yeah, it looks like they might be dumping. Let's go ahead and go around this side. Piece of furniture here, kind of looks like a desk. Some sort of Ikea piece. Let's see what else is in there. Some sort of a uh, unit with uh, maybe a little bookshelf attached to it. Might be an office desk. There's this antique looking piece on the other side, this half wall over here. Let's go see what's up. Well, gorgeous piece, antique looking. If it is not an antique, I think, I'm pretty sure it's an antique. Gorgeous piece. What I would personally do with that is I'd actually modernize it and do like a white paint on it, restore it a little bit more. Check out this box, guys. Some Nikes right on top. Let's see what's up.
folks, we grabbed a couple pieces. We will be showing you. I was able to find what looks to be snowboard pants. And unfortunately, Mr. Sleeps a Lot needed snowboard pants. Yeah, two days ago. And these ones look like they probably definitely will fit him. Uh, those were size 13 Nikes. Oh goodness, I don't know why I didn't take them for the garage sale. I just, it's, I'm still in the zone. Nice little recliner couch down there. What's this? A big mirror piece. Let's go see if there's anything uh, more furniture by this big mirror piece as well. Hold on one moment. Nice love seat, nice roller mirror or some sort of mirror. You can put that in some sort of master bedroom project of some sort. But I keep, I'm on the same pace as I normally am. So I keep forgetting about nickel and diamond. Those Nike size 13 shoes could be two bucks, three bucks a garage sale. All right, we got ourselves uh, a nice, oh, Drat, hold on, let me focus that up. Uh, leopard print stool. That again is a leopard print. I look and I like it. Thought I saw some shadows already, so I'm gonna go live right here with you, yeah. Boxes, okay, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Let's try that one more time where the 75 inch TV was. Uh, what do we got, hangers? Um, you know what, let me, uh, I kind of feel like going in for a closer look. Uh, let me let me see. Let me flip around real quick. Sort of a square plastic shelf. Yeah. Uh, nice and kind of thick and wide plastic shelf. Boxes, garage door. That, folks. That, folks, is a beautiful black leather love seat. Wow. Wow. That's very nice condition. My goodness. Where is good old Mr. Sleepslot when you need him? He's sleeping. That's where he's at. All right, folks, let's go ahead and wrap this up with the plunder haul of what I took. The extra large Swiffer here. Great condition, by the way. That's not cheap. We got ourselves a squirt gun that looks like a Nerf gun, but it's actually a squirt gun. Uh, but it is not a Nerf gun with a sight. Probably uh, give that to Mr. Sleepslot's kids or for the garage sale. We do have a little... Nerf gun here. That's going to be for me. That's a great little uh, score right there. Coming over here to Adidas sweatpants. These were actually inside the cans in a basket. I'm not sure if I caught footage of that or not. Same aisle way as the double monitor holder, which was a trip. I mean, these look like they're brand new condition. Adidas Got the lines down here. Of course, my bubble wrap right here. And the same haul as the sweatpants and the double monitor. Also on the half wall was a 20-pack again. Non-GMO. I thought this was organic, but it's non-GMO fruit on the go. I thought that was fantastic. We'll definitely actually uh, probably put that to use, to be honest with you. Okay, coming over here to the monitor stand here. This thing is actually really beefy. Really nice, as you can see here, has this uh, bracket here that you would put behind your desk. Screw that into the back of your desk. I guess if you didn't want to do that, you could somehow mount it directly in, but probably not. You probably need this mount. Anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So let me go ahead and put my knee on it like if it was a mount. And then what these do is that you mount these, obviously, with screws the back of your monitors. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, these flex out, flex in. There's two of them. The company is Loctec. Loctec. My guesstimation, probably brand new. That was probably uh, a decent amount of money. Anyway, if I don't need it, which I don't think I will, probably uh, that should fetch at least. We'll see, actually. I might actually look that up on eBay before we think about the garage sale. Oh, and by the way, I think these uh, come down. Don't quote me on that one. Anyway, I thought that was a great score. All right, nice dish towel. The only reason I grabbed that is because Frisbee Disc Golf, I already have dish towels, and it looks like actually a little spotted up there, so we'll obviously wash this 
And instead of using that for a dish towel, just like this one, reason I grabbed this microfiber, great to clean discs if discs get muddy or wet. Frisbee disc golf. Uh, we actually grabbed this off camera. There's still a nice little remainder left of that furniture wrap right there. That stuff is not cheap. Brand new roll is gonna set you back about 17 bucks is the cheapest I found it. And there's definitely probably I'd say a third left of a brand new roll, maybe a quarter, we'll see. Uh, this is a nice hoodie. I always like new hoodies and recycle out of hoodies. The one I'm wearing right now is super comfortable, but super ugly, olive green, so I like hoodies. Over here, again, sorry Mr. Sleep Slot, we were two days too late. Uh, triple five, uh, triple five. Anyway, nice print, snowboarding pants. Uh, we'll see if that name brand sells on eBay. If not, maybe play it against sports. Triple nickel 555. These are XLs. Uh, they would fit Mr. Sleep Slot for sure. I'm actually going to try those on. They might be, sometimes they're XLs when they really fit like a medium or something like that. So I don't know, that kind of waist looks a little bit bigger than mine. Anywho, that was a great score. I like the fabric and the color. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessings. Let's continue to hunt. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.